Hi, my name is Melissa van Dijk and I'm a makeup artist and this is my independent YouTube channel which means I'm buying the products with my money. Now for today's video I'm going to show you how the Cruelan Dermacolor Camouflage Fluid Foundation performs and how to use it. I'm also using the shade D62 for my skin tone and from all the trials and errors that I had with the foundation I figured out the best way on how to use it. Starting off with please make sure that when you're using this foundation use always a primer underneath as if you're not going to use a primer underneath then your skin can look like this where the foundation is going to grab on those areas where you have textured and also dry skin which doesn't look pretty at all but if you're going to use a primer underneath then it will smoothen it uh, like the skin surface and it also will look very even and flawless now one thing I've also figured out is that the best way to apply it is with either a damp makeup sponge or also a foundation brush personally I like to go with the foundation brush because the application is a bit quicker but I'm going to show you both now I'm going to start off with the application of the primer and since it's a smoothing primer I like to use the Ordinary High Spreadability Fluid Primer also mainly all over my face. So make sure that you're choosing a smoothing primer if you have textured skin to have also the best result at the end. Now I'm going to take a few drops of it and then with this morning primer you can only use it on those areas where it's necessary, mainly also where you have larger pores or also textured skin in general or you can use the primer also all over the face. With this one I like to pat it into the skin and then blend the rest into the skin. Moving on to the foundation, the Cruelan Derma Color Camouflage Fluid Foundation has a very like special texture where it's kind of mousse like but also liquid at the same time and this makes also the application so interesting and also sometimes difficult to work with but if you're having the right preparation and using the right tools it can give you a beautiful and natural lightweight finish now going in with the foundation brush at first and it's important that you're starting off with the center of the face and in this example, I'm going to really keep the focus towards the area where I have that breakout, where you can also see how it also will cover it up. And then using circular motions to blend the foundation into the skin will definitely give you the best finish. And you clearly can see that it starts to neutralize the redness and also starts to even out the skin tone. Now I'm going ahead and using the sponge. And I'm going to dab the sponge into the foundation and focusing it towards the forehead area. And this is where you're going to use dabbing motions so that you're making sure that you're really pressing the foundation into the skin. Start from the center of your face and move outwards. This way we won't end up with any like strange lines around the hairline and we will have an even and lightweight finish. Now this is definitely a very lightweight foundation where each layer will add a little bit of color to it as well as also even out the skin tone. So you clearly can see that the foundation brush and the sponge are just working so well so that you will also have a beautiful finish at the end. Now that I have like let it dry also on the cheek area where I have applied it with the foundation brush, I also wanted to show you how you can layer the product. Since this is a foundation that dries on its own, it's important that between each layer you're going to let it dry. And then this way you're also able to build it up so that the first layer won't move underneath and still the coverage will be buildable. And you can see that it really improves also the even out skin tone as well as also the coverage in general and that the area doesn't look that red anymore. Again, here you can see how the foundation lays on top and also how it performs compared to the other side. It does do an amazing job to even out the skin tone and is very lightweight. Now, this foundation is also available on the Cruelan website and it will cost you around 26 US dollars. I do hope that you enjoyed the video and if you did so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up as well as share it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in the next one. Bye!